Since the beginning of the modern wind era in the 1980s, new technologies and manufacturing techniques have vastly improved the economics of wind-generated electrical power. Today, the cost of wind energy is only slightly higher than that of conventional means of electrical generation. But even now, some form of subsidization is still needed for wind-generated power to be cost-effective. In 1990, the Wind Turbine Company was founded by Ken Deering, Paul Greeno, and Larry Miles with the goal of building a new wind turbine capable of producing low-cost electricity without the need for subsidization. The founders believed that the market for competitively priced unsubsidized wind energy was truly enormous and set out to capitalize on this belief. In late 1994, WTC secured its first outside investor, the Dow Chemical Company, and was quickly followed by an investment from Swiss industrialist Dr. Stefan Schmidheine. A year later, WTC was selected by the U.S. Department of Energy's National Renewable Energy Laboratory to design and then build several prototypes of WTC's new wind turbine concept. The result was a $22.3 million contract between WTC and NREL, signed in February 1997. This was the second largest wind energy contract ever awarded by the Department of Energy. To help fund its turbine development efforts, WTC secured a $1 million contract from the California Energy Commission's Public Interest Energy Research Program in June of 1998. WTC installed its first prototype turbine, the 250 kilowatt rated proof of concept turbine at the Department of Energy's National Wind Technology Center outside of Denver in February 2000. This machine has been operating successfully since May 2000. In December 2001, WTC installed its second prototype, rated at 500 kilowatts in northern Los Angeles County. This pre-commercial prototype went into testing in March 2002 and is performing as expected. WTC plans to scale up this turbine to 750 kilowatts by installing a new purpose-designed rotor blade set by the end of 2002. The wind turbine company's advanced design is a horizontal axis two-blade downwind machine. Because the blades are downwind of the supporting tower, they're pushed away from the tower during normal operation. This enables WTC to employ a patented hinged blade configuration that allows the blades to independently flap in the out-of-rotating plane direction. This patented design incorporates a flap motion restraint system to control the individual blade flapping. This feature, adapted from the helicopter industry, almost entirely eliminates the rotor blade root bending loads found on the three-bladed upwind machines. This hinge design allows the force of the wind that is pushing the blades in the direction of the wind to be canceled by the centrifugal force from the rotation of the blades. On three-bladed upwind turbines with rigidly attached blades, these loads require much more robust components to absorb these loads and a stronger tower to support the turbine. The only solution to this problem is to employ more materials for all primary structural components, which leads directly to higher manufacturing costs. But with the wind turbine company's downwind turbine design, the stresses on all components, including those transmitted to the tower, are much lower enabling a major reduction of materials and cost. Unlike conventional upwind turbine systems that must be driven into the wind, the WTC downwind turbine acts like a weather vane that self-orients into the optimum airflow. Allowing the rotor to self-orient eliminates the significant torsional loads on the tower that are present in traditional upwind designs. The turbine yaw system is capable of orienting the rotor during turbine startup, including high wind speed restart and for routine maintenance. In operation, this system simply controls the rate of orientation to changes in the wind direction. Our turbine incorporates a variable pitch blade control system that permits self-starting of the turbine, automatic power output regulation, and aerodynamic braking of the rotor. Our turbines also utilize a control system that automatically and continuously adjusts the blade pitch to further reduce blade flapping loads. The Wind Turbine Company has trademarked the name the Smart Turbine to emphasize the fact that our control system almost instantaneously responds to changing wind speeds and directions instead of responding with a delay or not responding at all. Because the blades are downwind of the tower, it is allowed to sway in the wind, 
This further reduces loads and allows the tower to be guy cable supported, requiring less material. A guy cable supported tower allows for the economic installation of taller towers that elevate the rotor blades farther above the ground, where winds are generally stronger and less turbulent. The guide version significantly reduces foundation costs and is very cost effective. The turbine tower is also available in a freestanding configuration. In designing its new turbines, WTC has made maximum use of system dynamic analysis computer codes to conduct what we believe is one of the most extensively modeled wind turbines ever designed. These codes, developed in the United States and Europe during the past decade, have enabled WTC to quickly, easily, and economically examine the behavior of the wind turbine in various configurations under a multitude of simulated operating conditions. The absence of these codes would make it impossible for a small company like WTC to develop its concepts. Such codes were only available to the large aerospace companies like Boeing and United Technologies in the early 1980s when they undertook development of early two-blade design concepts. WTC integrated these dynamic analysis codes with commercially available two- and three-dimensional modeling codes and finite element analysis codes to fully configure its turbine design on computers. This allowed for virtual testing for fatigue or stress on each component as the design work proceeded. A significant element of WTC's field testing efforts involve measuring turbine performance in order to validate our predictive models, and this validation has been accomplished. The management team at the Wind Turbine Company has been in the wind industry for over 15 years, and the company's staff has over 75 years of combined experience in the industry. WTC has over a decade of research and development that includes our own proprietary computer codes for designing turbine components and analyzing turbine system performance. The Wind Turbine Company has established and nurtured strategic alliances with several component manufacturing firms to ensure that our product is the best it can be and always will be in the future. At the Wind Turbine Company, we are in the turbine business for the long haul. With our all-new low-cost wind turbines, our goal is to finally bring wind energy into the mainstream of electricity generation sources, eliminating the need for ongoing subsidies that have been required to this time. We will not rest on our past accomplishments, but will continually strive to innovate and revolutionize the wind turbine industry.